guys, I'm sorry. That I'm going to try to make this video short. I know that I was asking if you guys would want to see this, but either way, I just got done setting it up. So over here, you can see that I got the heater cartridge wired in, and I didn't remove my um, DC reader, so that's still on there. And it's the power supply is on, but I just made sure that the button was off. But if I just turn it on and put the probe against the heater cartridge, you'll be able to see that it heats up, and you'll even hear the relay switch turn on, and then you'll even hear it shut off when it gets to the temperature that I have it set for that 70 degrees Celsius. So first, I'll pause the video real quick, turn on the machine, I'll just press the on button right here in the corner, and then I'll just try to get these two probes next, the heater cartridge and the probe next to each other, hopefully placed on top of each other, and then you'll be able to see that it's turned on and that it's heating and then you'll even hear the relay switch shut off. So just give me a second, I'll do that for you, hold on. All right guys, so I got the probes touching and the machine on, it is set for 70 degrees Celsius, it is actually getting pretty hot, I can feel it. Cause I'm holding on to the probe and the control, the, ther the thermistor, the temperature sensor. And it's hard to kind of get them close to each other because I'm holding it. There it goes. So you hear it shut off. So it's off right now. And if I blow a lot, it'll turn back on. If I just use my the breath, my breath to blow onto the heater cartridge over here, then it should turn back on. <sighs> and there it goes. Now it's back on. And once it's close enough and touching each other, it is getting hot. I can feel it in my fingers because I'm holding on to the heater cartridge. But it's connected next to each other. And it is increase, increasing the temperature. And now it just shut off because it got up to that 70 degrees Celsius. So it's going to turn on, shut off. It'll keep doing that just to keep the temperature because it's set for 70 degrees Celsius. But it'll turn on and turn off really quick whenever it gets too hot or reaches the temperature. But once it gets cooler, it'll make sure that it's getting back up to that 70 degrees Celsius. So um, that's pretty much it for the video. I just wanted to show you that I did still connect it. Well, I got it connected now with the heater cartridge over here. And Every time I cool it down with my breath, it'll turn on and then you'll see that um, voltage reader indicate that it's showing 12.2 volts. It just takes a second for it to cool down and then heat back, uh, turn on the heat back up. The reason why I'm blowing out on the heater cartridge and the reader because it still can feel the temperature. So it's decreasing slowly, but it'll get to zero basically and then turn back on. So it's at 70 right now. I'm sorry this is taking a long time guys it's just still buggy kind of because this is the first time me doing this but as you can see it is working and it will cool all the way down and then it's going to turn back on just to heat back up to that 70 degrees celsius because that's what it's set for so that's good news because if you're trying to make sure that you're making filament out of like a plastic bottle then you want to make sure that the temperature stays the same when it's actually melting the plastic down in the bottle. There it goes. Now it just turned back on. And now it's going to start increasing the temperature. And I can feel the heat from the heater cartridge on my fingers because it's hot and it's just heating up.
There it goes. Now I just shut back off. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you want to see more videos on this, let me know in the comments so that way I can make, make them and I'm not making these videos for nothing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.